Hello all, welcome to the DKD's Ashwin Trauts on Polytechnic in Zalgarji. In this series of video lecture, we are going through the subject management. Myself, B.A. Tare. Let's begin. In the previous lecture, we covered the points, functions of management. Those are planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling. In continuation with this, in this chapter, we are going to cover the points. Those are types of planning and steps in planning from the chapter number one. There are mainly three types of planning. The first is strategic plans, second tactical plans and third operational plans. As a student, when we set the goal, of getting 80% to 90% marks in examination then we have to plan our study according to that like we set the timing for each subject when to cover each subject when we uh, go to the revision those all the activity is under planning in the same way in industry industry sets the goal or objective and according to that the industry make the plans if the industry has the objective of high production according to that the industry personnel or management plan according to increase the production like hire the more employee worker implement new machines or advanced technology in this way they increase their production the first type of planning is strategic plan the strategic plan defines organization's vision and how the organization intends to make its vision in reality means if suppose the industry sets the goal or objective like increase the production so the strategic plan is increase the production in the future that is the vision of industry it is mainly done by top management in an organization it is determination of the long-term objectives since it is a planning the direction of company's progress it is essentially focuses on planning for the coming years to take the organization from where it stands today to where it intends to be if suppose the industry has vision of getting topmost company or industry so this is the vision of industry according to that they plan further things mainly strategic plan is a primary stage in this the top management decides the vision of industry and it is done by top management of an organization if suppose the tata motors vision is to become a topmost automobile industry in the world to achieve its vision the data motors sets the strategic plan they mainly concentrated on high R&D departments give the good customer service they improve the products so these all activities are under planning the next planning type is tactical plans the tactical plans are made to fulfill the strategic plans which is made by management the tactical plans describe the tactics that the managers plan to adopt to achieve the objectives set in the strategic plans tactical plans are of less than three years and are usually developed by middle level managers it details specific 
meaning or action plans to implement the strategic plan by units within each division. Tactical plans allocate work among the subunits within each division. Means, if the Tata Motor want the topmost automobile company in the world, then they should concentrate on each division of automobile industry. For example, production department, uh, marketing department, sales department, R&D department. Then each department should get their plans ready that plans are called as tactical plans the third type of planning is operational plan the operation plans are short term plans which fulfills the daily requirement if suppose the production department wants to produce maximum products then they should have plan so that they can produce the product daily or monthly basis for example if production department plans to manufacture the product 400 units per day then this planning is called as operational planning Operation plans are short term plans developed to create specific action steps that support the strategic and tactical plans. They are usually developed by managers to fulfill his or, his or her job responsibilities. They are developed by supervisors, team leaders and facilitators to support tactical plans. They govern the day-to-day -day operations of an organization. The second point of this lecture is what are the different steps we have to follow during the planning. There are mainly seven steps for planning. The first step is to establish the objectives. When we are going to plan something, so we have to first decide what is the main objective of doing the planning? So, we should identify the goals of organization. For example, if we want to improve the financial position of the company or improve the manufacturing facility, improve company image in the market, competition level in the market, and good customer service and customer satisfaction. These are the some examples of objectives second step is to establish pl planning premises planning premises are assumptions of future market conditions which become the basis for current planning process for example if we want to uh, introduce new product in the market so for production of that product we require the raw material then we should consider the cost of the raw material in the present scenario in the future scenario so we have to uh, consider that raw material cost on that we have to calculate the final product cost so planning premises are usually related to the cost and availability of raw material labor power product demands, population trends, technology growth, government policies, etc. So in this step, we have to consider the future activity or future scenario during planning phase. What is the raw material cost, the labor availability, uh, product demand in the market, population trends, what are the technology uh, we have to use for manufacturing etc the third step of planning is to determine alternative course of action we want to find many alternatives during the planning phase search and list all the possible alternatives in order to be compared and analytically evaluated the fourth step of planning is to evaluate the alternatives and select the best. 
select most suitable and best course of action alternatives have to have to be compared and evaluated with respect to their expected contribution to organizational goals so in third step we have to find many alternatives in the planning phase and in the fourth step from that all alternatives we have to find the suitable and best alternative for achieving the objective of company the fifth step of planning is to formulate derivative plans management has to formulate derivative plans for secondary plans to support the basic plan derivative plans are sub plans for departmental plans for example if the production plan of tata motors is to produce millions of nano in the next 5 years the derivative plans would be plans for various departments like fabrication forging casting purchase assembly etc the sixth step is to secure cooperation and participation of all employees involving employees in planning process enhances their cooperation and participation continuous suggestions complaints and criticisms must be solicited from the employees the seventh and last step of planning is to measure and control the progress through follow up continuous evaluation of plans help in identifying reduce the mistakes and avoiding them in future these are the seven steps of planning the first step is to establish the objective or goal of the industry the second step is to establish the planning premises or future trends during planning the third step is to determine the alternative course of action or alternative plans or to find out the alternative plans the fourth step is find the best and suitable plan from all the alternatives the fifth step is to formulate the derivative plans or departmental plans sixth step is to secure cooperation and participation of all employees during the planning phase or we have to take the help of employees for the planning and seventh step is to control the progress through follow ups or to see the work or activity which is happening or which is which is running according with the planning so these are the seven steps thank you all